Ikra, read, commanded a voice out of nowhere. The sudden appearance of an angel, a creature of light, startled Muhammad's out of his deep sleep. He had come to this lonely mountain cave to think about the meaning of his life. Suddenly, he was faced with something so fantastic that he could hardly move or breathe. He was frozen in place. I can't read, he muttered to the strange presence that seemed to encircle him. The angel then embraced Muhammad's body and nearly squeezed the breath out of him, commanding him to read. Muhammad's protested again, so the angel repeated the strange embrace a third time. He commanded once more, Read! Muhammad's cried out, What should I read? Then, the angel began to recite, Read in the name of your Lord who created humans from a clinging. He is the one who taught people with the pen, taught them things they didn't know before. Muhammad's rushed out of the cave, flustered and frightened. He ran back down the mountain as fast as he could. All he wanted to do was to get home, to escape this strange sensation that he didn't understand. Then, as he paused for breath, he looked up at the horizon and saw the angel who confronted him in the cave in his actual form. Muhammad's turned around, and again the angel was there, larger than the mountains and staring at him, saying his name was Jibreel. Overwhelmed, Muhammad's ran back to his home in Maka without looking back. When he burst through the front door of his house, he fell into the arms of his beloved wife, Khadija. As he shook with fear, she held her husband tightly and wondered frantically what was happening. Cover me, cover me, he cried. So Khadija took him to their room and covered him with a sheet. She watched over him the whole night, sometimes holding his hands, other times wiping his moistened brow. What could have happened? What could she do? She would know soon. Later that night, Muhammad's wondered aloud if trouble was coming for him. Khadija, who knew him to be a man of integrity, comforted him and explained that Allah would never let anything evil befall him. He was honest, charitable and upright. If something was to come, it surely would not be bad. After some time, Angel Jibreel again came to Muhammad. This time, he was more prepared for the otherworldly experience. When the angel finished speaking, Muhammad memorized the revelation from Allah. You, wrapped up in sheets, stand at night, but not all night, maybe a little less or more. Recite the Quran in slow, measured tones. Soon we will give you a heavy message. Truly getting up late at night is powerful for controlling, and the best for forming words.